I'm a 150 for the three. Would you do that? You do two. I'll do 175. Good morning. Good morning. Am I too early? Those are neat. Okay. You got things in the garage for sale too? Yeah. yeah okay. Oh yeah. We can't move the tables. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally understand. You want to handle with that? Maybe. Here, I'll, let me put these down. I'll grab the I other side. I can only slide it though. Yeah. Not if you want to push and I'll pull a little. Yeah. Put it about halfway. That work? There. Cool. Thank you. No problem. I'm going to get these two shovels and these irons. Okay, sure. I'll set them down. I'll keep looking around. Okay. How'd you hear about some like to know? Did I want to say it was Craigslist. Okay, sure. Yeah. Curious where people are here. How much are your uh, yield and no parking About signs? Five and three. I got 12 of the movies. Okay. I owe you 40 for the irons is 52. Another six for the shovels is 58. And then five for the yield sign. Okay. Should yeah. be 63. Okay. There you go. Oh, you got a perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good luck with everything. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Good morning. Fifty on the husband can. Yeah. Which weights? If you're What'd you say on the weights, Beth? Oh, this is good. I thought it was ten. Oh. Yeah, that's for all of the kettlebells. Yeah. Why did you bring those up? These never black. Oh. These are the ones you wanted to get rid of. You can start that up, it works. Okay. Actually, it's barely used. <laughs> okay. Did he buy the dumbbells too? Yeah. No, no not he, those. He just, just the, the kettles. All right. Right. Did you want the dumbbells? Uh. I didn't want you to see them out from underneath you if you were still looking at them. Does that have the bar in there too? Yeah, there's, yeah, there's two, bars. two handles and stuff. Yeah, I'll take those. Jarts. <laughs> yeah, those are the originals. Wow. And, and I was shocked at how much just the box goes for. Right, because you can't legally sell them, they outlawed them. Well, and that's what my wife said. She I mean, like on, in a garage sale, you can't. You know, nobody's well, going to give you a hard time. She put um, a listing on Craigslist for the garage sale and said she had a pair of antique jarts, and they told her she couldn't put it on there. Right. How much are the cast iron pans? 
Oh, I didn't even, I forgot those were even in there. Um, I have a hundred a piece on them. Okay. Um, so if you want all of them, we could probably work something out. But how much is your crate? Um, I gotta look. I don't remember what I said on that. And that's negotiable too. Two hundred on the crate. Two hundred on the crate. Yeah. Are you buying that? I couldn't find one. The skills, yeah, I'm trying to make a deal with them. I'm gonna one fifty for the three. Would you do that? One fifty for the three. Can you do two? I do one seventy five. Yeah, one seventy five. Okay, and I'll be a ten for the dumbbells. Okay. So one eighty five. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. How much is the cooler? Uh two fifty. Two fifty. Sir, is this your stuff? Yes. What are you asking for the uh, flosser and the toaster? 35. For the pair? Just for all of it. 35 bucks? Yeah. Sure. There you go. Thank, Thank you very you. much. How much are your movies? Uh, the uh, movies are a dollar. Okay. Two, three, four. I got six of them. I see your Xbox game. Do you have any other video game stuff? Uh, no. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. This is a sewing machine? Yes. What are you asking for it? I'll take it. Here's for the sewing machine. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. John? Yeah. Tony. Nice Tony, to nice meet you. you. Nice to see you. Fine stuff. Oh, thanks, yeah. man. This is too bad. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. A little turtle head and stuff. Yeah. Nice. There's a lot around here this morning. Is there? Yeah. Uh, we, have, we just got over this one. Yeah, there's like Redding, uh, Sharonville. They're all over. Okay, cool. Do you want me to put these on a chair for you? So you are you no, still looking at them? Ready. You're ready. Okay. How much are the posters? Okay. Fifty cents. Okay. There's a variety set. So. Alrighty. This is a handmade grain opening sign? Yes. That's interesting. My mom used to work at a company that made all these kinds of yeah? signs. Yeah? Yeah. Huh. I'll buy that for a buck. I've got four posters and I'm going to get that for a dollar, so you three. Okay. 
So, yeah, one, two, three. You have any other posters anywhere? Um, well, not like those kind. There's a bunch of things in here. There's more posters in here, and then there's like these kind. Okay, I'll take a look at those. Okay. How much is all those? All that They're stuff different there? ones because some of them, there's a couple that are clipped together as a set, but the individual ones, 50 cents. Okay. Okay. How much is your clock? Oh, let's see. Uh, that is not mine. Let me ask her real quick. Okay, sure. Let me just take it there might show. be a price on the box. I'm not sure. She's asking 10. What should you do, five? Let's see. <laughs> yes. All right, thank you. <laughs> go over here somewhere. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck thank with the sale. You. Thank you so much. We'll be here tomorrow too. Okay. Hey guys, it is Sunday morning. Yesterday I went to a handful of garage sales, found some really good stuff. Got it all pulled out. I'm going to show you what I found. Got a bunch of DVDs at one sale. I got, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, like six or seven Johnny Carson that I'm just going to lot up. And same with the Elvis. I got like five or six Elvis I'm just going to lot up. And then I got this random Tracy and Hepburn and signature collection. Those are all a dollar each. Not sure what I can get for them lotted up, but I would think the Carson and the Elvis lots should do okay. I got this funky uh, desktop pen sculpture. I remember these from the 90s these were really popular i paid three dollars for this i saw one sold comp for 45 dollars plus shipping but i think it was a different brand honestly not sure what this one's going to be worth but it was just too cool to pass up got some skillets at one sale and i think i might have overpaid he didn't have these out for sale they were like in one of his uh crates that he was selling and i pulled them out they're all griswold which i know is a good brand but i'm not super well experienced with these to know enough about them he was wanting 100 dollars a piece i offered him 150 for the three he came back with two and we ended up settling on 175 this one right here is definitely where the money is it's a number nine uh, erie pennsylvania griswold i think it says 710 there's supposed to be a letter there but i can't quite make out what that is i saw a similar one uh sell for 250 dollars, but theirs was a lot cleaner and i think they can make out what the letter was so this one i'm really not sure uh this guy here is a number five uh 724 i think he was going for right around 40 or 50 and this little guy is a number three 709k i think he's going for like 25 30 bucks this wasn't the best buy ever but i don't think i'll lose money and hopefully i'll learn something when i'm selling these i got this dave ramsey financial peace university um it's got the books the cds and everything i paid five bucks for the whole bag that's gone for about 20 picked up this water pick water flosser i found a couple of these here recently and they do pretty well the uh, original tape is still sealed up there so i don't think it was ever open i saw one uh, open box sell for like 68 bucks free shipping so i think i can get 50 55 dollars for that got a bunch of random posters at one sale got an old south park um i think this is a alex rodriguez there's a really cool one of the rock we got a dennis rodman here these aren't in good shape, but they're 50 cents each, so I couldn't really pass them up. And then here is a handmade vintage grand opening sign. I didn't open it up, but it was only a buck. Look at this thing rolled out. Yeah, this is cool. This is hand painted. Yeah, that's got a lot of character to it. Um, I think this will do okay. I want to put this on eBay and somebody's opening up a shop might want it, you know, 30, 40 bucks, something like that. It's hard to find vintage handmade stuff like this. Got this really cool clock at the same sale. This is a GE telecron and it's got a cool art deco look to it i paid five for that couldn't find any uh sold comps on ebay but i've sold similar ones in the past for around 40 or 50 bucks got these irons at one sale these are wilson staff dynapower fluid feel irons these are blade style and most of the wilson stuff that you see is not going to be very good but these are a little bit higher in clubs and i saw the same one sell for like 125 plus shipping but that listing had a sand wedge Mine does not. Mine just goes up to the pitching wedge. So I think 100 bucks is pretty realistic for those. I paid 40 bucks. Got this big yield sign for five bucks. I'm just going to put that in my shop. Got a Viking Husqvarna uh, sewing machine, uh, model 6030. Only had to pay five bucks for that. And I saw the same one sell for $133 plus shipping. Husqvarna is a really good brand of sewing machines to keep an eye out for, guys. Got this dumbbell set for 10 bucks. Uh, you can see it retailed for 40 and dumbbells are just going through the roof right now it seems like all at home exercise equipment's going really high uh it's 40 pounds that's counting the little barbells and everything i think i can get 25 to 30 bucks for those 
And then absolutely my best find of the day is this vintage Toastmaster toaster. I could tell by looking at it that it was like a commercial grade and then I picked it up and felt how heavy it was. And when I looked up the price, I was completely shocked. This thing is selling for 350 bucks. I got this and the uh, water flosser for 35. So I've probably got 20 into this, 15 into the flosser. I was really, really excited to find this thing. A little bit dirty inside, but I'll clean it up and it'll sell. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.